what's up everybody how you guys doing today so uh, this is gonna be a two-part video because it was gonna be really long if I put it all together so we're gonna start off with the first step which is um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install twerp recovery on the ZTE warp sync the n9 n9515 so um, anyways so I'll have the link in the description of where you guys can download um, the recovery image for the warp sync and um, I gotta say this phone is really I consider it to be another one that's an underrated phone um, compared to like you know the LG Vault also being underrated not a lot of popularity with this one so anyways um, the things you're gonna need is a recovery image and flashify so if you don't have flashify download it onto this phone from the Play Store also make sure that your phone is rooted if you have not rooted your warp sync, please check out my video on how to root the warp sync. So, um, from this point right now, um, I just launched Flashify and it's checking for root. And um, because I have a lot of apps open, it's pretty much like running it slow. So, let me close out some background applications. And yeah, there it goes. All right. So, just uh, click uh, recovery and then search in your, where you've uh, placed your recovery image I suggest to copy it over to your external SD card so here we have it right here um, there it is tap it and I'm gonna click OK and it's going to flash the recovery in and that's pretty much it all in a nutshell pretty simple but like I said make sure you are rooted if you're not rooted go check out my video on how to root it how to root the ZT warp sync you should be good to go and um, also download the recovery image link in the description for you guys and place it on your external SD card so that way um, you know there's no issues or whatever so as you can see right now it's booting into uh, twerp recovery and uh, the first boot into recovery is going to take a little bit longer than usual but don't freak out things should be just fine as long as you follow the instructions and also as a disclaimer uh, I am not telling you you have to do this so if you decide to install Twerp Recovery you're doing so at your own risk I am not to blame if you decide to do this and you mess up your device also as you guys uh, can see what I'm doing right here is I am making a full backup before I make any modifications other than the fact that I installed Twerp Recovery any other mod modifications I plan to make which is coming in the next video uh, I want to make sure I have a full backup of the ROM, the original stock ROM, before I flash anything over it. So that's a good rule of thumb. I suggest you guys do that too. So yeah, um, check out the uh, next video. I'm going to be installing the DLDX stock ROM and I hope, hope you guys check it out.